So this is the kit that I got for the um, Greg Riley group build T3485 Berlin 1945 135th uh, scale by Academy. So let's have a little looky looky in the box to see what it looks like. Hey. Painting and decal placement. I think there's only two different tanks, both from the same tank core, the 11th tank core. K238, I would imagine that's the number of the tank, I don't really know. Uh, sprue list, there's one photo etch there. Some uh, Korean, are they Korean? Is Academy Korean or Japan? I don't know. More telling you what tools you need, blah, blah, blah. Check with the parts list before unsealing. Woo! Scary. There's the photo etch for the bed spring armor that goes around the outside of the turret and a little bit on the uh, around the side of the rear deck. It's got a thick cardboard in there to protect it, stop it bending. Not much in the in the way of decals there, really. Not very much at all. <coughs> Here's the instructions. Before assembly, referring to painting and decal placement. To me, they both look the same. But hey ho. Start off with the, uh, it's not a bathtub style lower hull, three pieces there. All the malarkey with the interior of the uh, suspension, outside of the suspension there. I don't think there's very much to it to be honest. There's your wheels, this link and length uh, tracks, which is nice. Two different types of tracks there. One that's got a guide horn on it and one that hasn't. So that should be pretty easy to uh, assemble. All the malarkey that goes on the outside, the grab rails, uh, some hatches, something there for the machine gun. There's your PE for the rear grill. Uh, front fenders. Spare tracks on the front. Little toolbox on the side there. We're up to number nine with the turret. More grab handles. I'm not sure, I don't think they're PE, I think they're plastic. Uh, turret. Cupola. Hatches, I think you can have the hatches open. Oh yeah, 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 open or closed, you can have it. Periscopes. Touching the upper hole to the lower hole, and there instructions for bending the PE for the uh, supports for the bed spring PE. That's going to be fun. It looks like thread there for the tow cables. I'm not sure if that's supplied or whether you've got to supply it yourself. Number 18, attaching the bed spring armour, rear engine grill, bed spring armour, sticking the turret on, and Bob's your mum's brother. So, 
Nothing too spectacular, especially considering what I'm doing now with the mini art. Blah, blah, blah. So, it looks like we've got everything in separate bags. Which is nice. Let's whack that open. Have a look at the turret. Ooh, look at that texture on that turret, mate. Can you see it? That is texture, my boy. I'm not an expert. I don't know if that's realistic or not. But that looks alright to me. I'm happy with that. More texture on the bottom of the turret. And round the mantle it. You can see there. It's all looking good. It's going to be an interesting build. There's the bags for the wheels. One, two, three, four, five sprues. You see they've got uh, proper rubber tyres on them. Or what it's supposed to represent rubber tyres anyway. Nice. A bag of grab handles and stuff for the upper deck and turret by the look of it. Grab handles and bits and pieces. Let's have a look at the upper hole, boys and girls. Being careful not to slice my finger off, of course. Don't play with knives. I like to see them in separate bags, I think it keeps them tidy and it protects them a bit better I think. That's absolutely smooth as a baby's bottom that upper hole, I don't know whether it's supposed to be like that texture around the uh, front machine gun. Yep. It's all good in the hood, all good in the hood, there's the sides, the bottom of the hole. Here's your Lincoln Length tracks with a pre built track sag in the tops, which is nice. That's going to be easy peasy putting them together. Even I can do that. Oh, you do get string for the cable. I've done one of those before, they don't look too bad. Plus it's easy to uh, arrange it around the uh, top of the hole, if it's not steel. Well, that looks like that's going to be pretty straightforward to me. So I might even crack on with that, do a couple of uh, bits on that today. So like I said, that's a group build. Greg Riley, I think, arranged it, and a few other peeps who may or may not follow on YouTube are doing it. There's a Facebook page as well, I'll leave a link to that. And uh, join in if you can. There's no time limit on it. As far as I'm aware, there's no time limit on it. I'm sure uh, someone said there was no time limit on it, so... I'm just going to crack on with it, do bits and pieces as and when. Okay boys and girls, time for uh, finish my brew and I'll catch you later. Stay safe.